Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm giving away more of my secrets as an omen main. One of my goals is to one day load up a game and randomly find one of my longtime subscribers playing as an enemy omen. To see someone else that's benefited from these videos outplay me might be a weird goal, but it's pretty awesome to me. So about those secrets. If you're new around here, check out my channel to pick up any puzzle pieces you don't already have. And if you're returning, let's continue our journey to mastering omen. We kick things off on Icebox. Our team just won the second round and I was able to keep my judge. So that means I need to play like a rat this round. Long distance fights are not going to work with this gun. Since we're playing double controller with Sabine dropping a wall on A side, I have to complement her util and maximize my chances of close quarter fights. The enemy start pushing A so I place a one way smoke to block off the high ground. Then I place another smoke directly on me. This will give me a huge advantage, especially with a judge. Right after Jet gets a nice headshot, I take out Viper with my judge and immediately blind a revealed raise. With raise blind, I can teleport up with little risk. And as she runs away, I pull off a raise move on raise. As I'm flying down, I actually notice Sage's gun right next to the orb. Now I can switch weapons and chase down Sage. That secures another double controller defense on Icebox. Now if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know exactly what I'm doing with this first smoke. You'll also know why I'm placing this second smoke this way. Chamber pushes me and is met with the judge and the executioner. Now that I've deterred the enemy, I place the same smoke again in the same way. Take a look at my last video to get a more in-depth breakdown of why my smoke is placed like this. Now, as the enemy Sage takes out her clone, I need to move up ramps slowly to catch her off guard. As I turn the corner, my crosshair aligns perfectly with her back turned. But remember, you don't stand a chance at long range with a judge. So I choose not to shoot Sage. I swap my gun and work with Killjoy slowly to creep up on her. The fact that she's shift walking means she's trying to sneak her way to the B side. And we both read her like a book. Team A. Nice. On Breeze, this is how I defend a lot of rounds. Since my smokes take time to cross the map, and I have limited range. I have to play mid to support both sides. I prepare a one-way smoke to support A side and throw it as soon as the enemy Rainer sends out her Leer. I move closer to A site and check nobody's lurking in holes. Since the enemy aren't pushing the site, I avoid over rotating. Reyna dies in holes after she was initially spotted A main with her Leer. This means she threw her Leer and ran back thanks to my one way smoke. They don't want to push my smokes, friends. I throw another one way smoke as we hear the mid callouts. Mid. It looks like they want to rotate to B, so we need to move quickly. I rotate and smoke off B main just as Viper drops her wall on B side. Now it's time to bait Cypher's util with a teleport, so he thinks that I'm still going towards back side. Now I wait for my team. The enemy plants the spike and flood the back side. And now that I've got backup, I can push forward and take out Jet. I move close enough so they could hear the shrouded step sound cue and I fake it so they think I've gone above them. One enemy and as my team said, I have a flash to take out Cypher. That flash completely missed, but at least I got the round. Thanks. We're back defending on split. It's round one and I'm playing on B. I prepare a defensive smoke to support A site and throw it as soon as I see the enemy omen on the map. As I rotate, I throw another smoke on heaven to stop the ramp push. They manage to push the site with their util and overwhelm our team. And with the spike down, now we've got our work cut out. I push screens and spot chamber A main. As soon as he teleports, I smoke him off first. My teammates all die and now I'm in a 4v1 with the spike ticking. Remember what I've said about Eagle pushing in the past. This omen player clearly doesn't watch my videos so I take him out for free. Raze then ego pushes and gets taken out as well. You'd think they learned their lesson but no. KO then decides to give me another 1v1. And now we've only got Chamber left. I know where he could be because I saw him teleport earlier when I smoked him out. While my smoke reloads, I tap the spike to try and get him to peek. And as soon as I get my smoke, it's pretty much game over. Cover going out. and we finish off in style with a shrouded step. Nice. 
we're back on Icebox, round one with our double controller setup. I start off on mid while Viper pushes B side. Since mid is clear and Viper clears B main, this means they're all moving towards A side. Viper then gets killed and I immediately run towards B side. I know that as soon as they killed her, they would decide to rotate. Unfortunately for them, I'm way ahead. Now I wait for poor Sage. I then transform into rat mode because I don't care about killing Rays, I care about winning the round. She takes out Sova and I stall her as I wait for Killjoy. Fortunately, the sneakiness was too much for Rays. Now, let me show you one of my executes on bind A site. Start off by placing a smoke on truck. Then, place your second smoke between the boxes on A site. Blind lamps and push the site. When you get close enough, teleport into the smoke on truck. Then, teleport again onto vent entrance. And since I have the spectra, I can spray ISO down. Then, run and gun chamber. Remember, this is the purpose of this type of gun. It isn't for precise shots. I check spawn and pick up the Vandal as I head to heaven. Now, since Rays is watching A main, Gecko is spotted in showers, that means Omen is dead. And I can finish off a nice 4k with Gecko. Now, let me show you how to fool the enemy with your shrouded steps. We're on ascent and Breach asks me to smoke off top mid for him. Can you smoke maybe top mid here? Right there. Amen. But for some reason, he doesn't understand that omen smokes take time to travel. Yeah, you need to be a little patient, Breach. Shadows uh, traveling. Stinger go. At least I got a free gun. I then place a one way smoke on connector to help Jet, who's playing on tree, as Sova's dart flies past my face. Now, this is how you use your shrouded steps. Oh. Yeah. And we clean up with the smoke placed on top of the spike, and that's all she wrote. Thank you so nice. Thank you. Now, when it comes to playing Omen, a lot of things I do go unnoticed. So here's a breakdown of some intricate details. The spike gets planted and I approach B site. Chamber spots me on his right side. So I use my shrouded step immediately onto nest. Now, I know he didn't hear this teleport because I'm too far away. So he should still think I'm on his right side, which would make him nervous about elbow and B main. I sneak through B tunnel, making sure I hug the right side because Chamber is here and doesn't know I've moved to his left side. As I push, Jet gets a nasty surprise. And now Chamber realizes I didn't go through elbow and B main. I'm actually on his left side. I know exactly where he is now and I move quickly to blind him, followed by a shrouded step. Whoa. What's another death? Well played, Omen. Smash that like button and consider subscribing. Stick around and you'll be outplaying even the trickiest opponents in no time. I'll catch you in the next one.